Salutations viewers! Thanks for tuning in about this video on burlesque. Burlesque comes from the Italian word burlesco or burlesca or busca. It's hard to pronounce for me, I'm not Italian. And it means joke, comedy, laughter, that general area. It was actually a literary and theatrical category where it meant to be comedic. And there was a uh, slowly transformed into kind of a more scandalous show. So it went from just like com comedic play to a sexy comedic play. And once it was introduced to America, it gradually turned into um, this really sexy striptease. So it also kind of started off stripping, but it turned into, you know, what we have today, strip clubs. And thank heavens that Burlesque is still this beautiful subculture. In the 40s, uh, the mayor, I think it was like the mayor of New York, tried to get rid of it completely. So many burlesque clubs were shut down, and only a few kept it alive. So it's great that it's making a comeback with Dita Bontis, kind of bringing it back to light. She really was the one who got it out there, but that's because she knew how to flaunt her stuff. But the original burlesque dancers are like Josephine Baker and Lily St. Cyr and uh, all those guys. And a lot of Hollywood actresses were actually burlesque dancers. That it was it was more of a... Like in the, in the 30s, you can see a lot of really racy actress photos. And that was kind of more acceptable uh, than today. Today, I mean, there's like Sports Illustrated, all that stuff. But then, that's it just kind of went hand in hand. It wasn't that big of a deal for you to be a burlesque dancer. At least from what, I've, my, what my research has turned out. Um, burlesque dancing is a great art form. There's different moves for taking off your gloves and stockings and all that. And typically you have like kind of like two layers of underwear. So like the more co covered up stuff, like a bra and panties, and then your pasties and g-string underneath it. Sometimes you don't go down to that second, that like spinal layer because uh, you either not confident or it's just like I guess the hall that you're performing at is um not so keen on that but strip teasing modern wise I guess you could say is everything out there in the, the lustiest way you can but what I love about burlesque is it's all about building up it's that kind of romanticizing of being confident and sexy and flaunting it. It's And it's also a lot more accepting to different body types. I've seen all kinds of body types performing, which is really nice for me, uh, since I'm, I still have to accept my body and I've never been confident with who I am, but seeing these videos gives me more confidence. And my body type's up there, which is fantastic. I see my body type performing all the time. And burlesque usually consists of corsets and whatnot, but once your corsets are off, I mean, that's you. That's solely you. And it's it's nice just seeing that transformation, saying, like, this is what I have without the body shaping thing. Um, so I hope this kind of gives you a new perspective on burlesque and strip teasing. And tune in next time. I will probably be doing two videos if I can and if I have the time and energy after my operation of finals. So, more fashion videos and makeup videos, and maybe I'll retouch on burlesque, because I feel like I've only scratched the surface here. Uh, and I hope it gives you the inspiration to go look it up, because it's really cool. So I'd suggest watching um, Beaches von Bourbon. She was on Britain's Got Talent. And Dita Bontis, definitely. I actually discovered her after she married Marilyn Manson, and I fell in love with her. So look it up. Watch some videos. It's really beautiful, really elegant, and it gives you a new new perspective on it, really. I don't know how to word it. It's, uh, but thanks, Ben, for getting me back into it with that RP. That's so nice. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you next time.